Hey, what's up guys? John Asumi coming at you from Motion Shooter Photography with a bad hair day. But we're here at the local pool and I'm gonna capture some action photos from one of the high school water polo matches. Water polo is a fun sport to shoot. There's a lot of action. Um, one thing I do like about it that's very forgiving and what I mean by that is the similar play comes up frequently from similar players over and over again. There's, I think there's five or six players on each team on the, in the pool at one time and the ball gets passed around but you see the same situations come up over and over again so you get a chance to get shots that you missed. It's, that holds true with everything except for goal scoring. Those are pretty unique and you're camera ready for those shots because when they come up, if you miss it, you missed it. I like to set up on the far side of the pool, so I'll set up with the sun at my back because I want to, you know, I want it to illuminate the players that I'm shooting. I'll probably be on one corner or the other, so that's not totally ideal for all the shots, but I can I can pretty much get many of the shots that I want from that position. What I'm always looking for again is the players coming towards me, and so from that position I can get the offensive team on my side of the pool as they're doing their thing with the ball in the air, making shots, uh, making passes. Ball, and then I can get that same team playing defense when they're on the other end of the pool. So typically what I'll do is I'll just kind of camp out in one spot for the entire game. I'll shoot one team offensive and defensively for the first half and then when they switch sides I'll shoot the other team offensively and defensively. If I was to break the game of water polo down into the types of shots that I'm looking for, uh, there's probably only a couple really. So offensively, a player is going to have the ball, he's going to be waving in the air, he's going to be taking shots, um, but that's going to be a very familiar posture that comes up quite often. They're going to be passing the ball, that could be another shot. Players playing defense, and what I find with defense, the photograph has a lot to do with their intensity of their face and the splashing of the water, and they might have a dominating position over the, the offensive player at that moment, so those make really good photos. Um, other pictures I'm going to be looking for are at the goalie, uh, making saves, and being scored upon, uh, both of those both of those make good photos. As usual, um, I'm shooting for max prep, so I'm going to follow the guidelines that they set forth. I will have the camera on landscape for these because with the player, most of his body in the pool, I can get a lot of the frame and the action uh, having it that way. And I like it because then I also pick up some of the defensive players, basically trying to fill the entire frame with the player. That's those are going to give you your best options as far as cropping if you have the player filling most of the frame. As always, I have the camera on single point focus. And what's different about water polo is that on single point focus, instead of having the box all the way at the top of the viewfinder, I'm going to have it about halfway down, somewhere close to the middle. And the reason being with water polo, you've got half the player submerged. So you don't really have to worry about getting the lower half of their body in the frame. Uh, but I want to make sure that I do have their eyes and their head in clear focus but I also want to make sure that the ball stays in the frame. One of the main reasons why I like to shoot from the corner of the pool is I feel a little bit safer from the ball hitting me. When I have my face in the camera lens, you know, when I'm looking through the viewfinder and then you're kind of, maybe you're standing near the net trying to get the shot, there's a lot of times that ball is coming whizzing at you. And man, that'll take you out, break a lens, break a nose. So. I could probably get better photos if I stood behind the net, but that's why I prefer to shoot from the far corner because I can get a lot of those shots with the players facing me, but I feel a whole lot safer. All right, well, I think we got some great shots. Took a lot of pictures, did a lot of burst. So back to the editing board see how they come out, but you don't have to wait that long. I'm going to show them to you right here, right now. This is John Asumi from Motion Shooter Photography.